Hello and welcome back to the right part. Today we're going to be taking a look at commonsensemedia.com, and I'm going to be explaining the problem I have with this website. Now, from what I can gather, commonsense media is、um, meant to help parents、um, make informed decisions on what movies are appropriate for their children, and that is extremely useful. I use This website to gauge if I should be watching some of the content I do watch on Netflix, and it is very useful in that regard. However,、um, what really strikes me as being extremely inappropriate is how some parent reviewers have been abusing this site, because apparently.、Um, These parent reviewers do not know the difference between quality and age appropriacy. Here is the Dark Knight Rises, and I chose this example in particular because it is a dark, more mature, more adult take on what is seen as a traditionally kid subject, and、um, this leads to some extremely weird.、Uh, Reviews. For example, we have this review by an adult, which gave The Dark Knight Rises an age seventeen plus and a quality rating of two out of five. Now let's see what sins The Dark Knight Rises commits to deserve such a score. <sighs> Did this Batman really need all that serious, intense, senseless violence? Yes, it did. But you know, I don't want this review to get personal. It's meant to be purely objective. It seems like this person is、um, giving the Dark Knight two out of five stars. Dark Knight Rises two out of five stars because it was too violent for six to seven year olds. Now, um, Lowe's man, here's a suggestion. Maybe the Dark Knight Rises wasn't made for six or seven years old. In fact, it was made to be enjoyed by Teens who want something a bit more dark and a bit more mature for their tastes. So I do not get this review, but it doesn't end here. We have some other reviews like this one, which gave an age eighteen plus. Extremely violent, made me feel sick. Actually, okay. Let me talk about let me talk about violence when it comes to film. Okay. I'm not an advocate for extremely violent sequences. In fact, I skip most of them actually because they kind of make my stomach squirm. However, violence is appropriate when used in the right context. For example, Dark Knight Rises uses violence to show the extremist methods of Bane and to hype him up as an actual physical threat to Batman. So, the complaint about it being violent isn't really that much of a complaint against the film. It's more that you can't take the violence, but that's not the film's fault. And then there's just a bunch of overprotective parents on this website, which I'm not critiquing your parenting methods, but、um, maybe not show some of these movies to your kids.、Um, what I'm talking about is a Free Willy, which is. Uh, 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 a film about a whale being freed. So、um, that should be okay for kids, right? Well, actually, the film is a bit more mature than you think. I won't say it's particularly good, but it's still worth a watch. However, we have parents here giving it one star, not because of how bad the film was shot, or the lackluster acting, or the predictable plot. But because it was too、uh, raw and intense for their five-year-old, and I think this is extremely misleading. If I'm just glancing past this website, I may look at Free Willy and look at Three Out Five Stars and be like, "No,、nah, that movie's just okay." But really, this these ratings are being bogged down by some、um, dashly idiotic reviews. I mean, let's just read this. The main character has been abandoned by his mother. My five-year-old did not need to know that mothers sometimes abandon kids who need to live on the streets. That's not a critique of the movie. The movie wants to be a bit more mature. Wants to show some darker elements of life. There's nothing wrong with that. 
The thing wrong is that you showed this movie to a kid who is way too young to fully understand the story and not be traumatized by it. So instead of giving this movie a one star review, maybe you should think about maybe showing it to your kid when he or she is older. So, and then and then we just have these nonsensical reviews which are made by adults as a to troll the website. For example, here with ha 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 age two plus, they will love this hilarious film. Tons of comedy. And then below this, they tagged violence and scariness, sexy stuff, language, consumerism, drinking drugs, and smoking. Does the do these tags make the film look like an age two plus appropriate piece? No, this is an obvious troll. And then we have another one who gives it an age seventeen plus. Love it. That is the best. This title contains, and he tagged educational value. No, that's not a seventeen plus movie. You are once again being a crow. Um, of course, some of these could not be the adults purposely trolling the website. It could be that they might not understand how to properly write their reviews, or they forgot to give an age rating, or they clicked the wrong button. But some of these、uh, are extremely obvious that they aren't being serious, and they just want to mislead parents. Reading these reviews, but I think the heart of the problem is how the website is run internally, namely their expert reviews.、Um, we're going to be taking a look at reviews for The Irishman, which make the film seem a lot worse than it really is. Now, I do agree that The Irishman is not made for kids by any stretch of the imagination. Martin Scorsese is known for having harsh, intense movies, but we can all agree that The Irishman is probably one of his tamer ones. Let's look at how common sense media、um, rates the violence in this film: extremely graphic, bloody killings, guns and shooting, blood spurts, a character slices a chicken's throat, splattering his face with blood, blood-covered shirt, strangling, body going through tree shredder, punching, hitting. Fighting, kicking character's face, stomping on character's hand, exploding cars, screaming slash yelling, war footage on television, body being incinerated. <clears throat> you know when I'm reading this, especially with、um, the short sentences and the use of language, it makes the film seem a lot more intense and violent than it actually is. In fact, I think this overglorializes the action because in the film it is. It is not presented in a visceral manner. It's in fact purposely meant to be detached, and in fact is meant to be a critique of violence in a、uh, mobster movies. So I do not get this review at all, and I can see it misleading a lot of parents who are debating whether to show this to their children.、Uh, so yeah, and um, also um, we have so yeah. Common sense media should really be a lot more, how to put this, sensitive over how they use language when portraying violence in a film, because stuff like the Irishman, uh, I know your your your、uh, your gauge may may vary, your mileage may vary, but the way that they portray it through this violence review makes it seem visceral and intense when. It's meant to be d- detached, and、uh, yeah. So I don't really get what common sense media is、uh, trying to say here, and that's that's my main problem with all of these reviews is that they they make movies seem worse than they actually are, and that's kind of a problem because this is. In fact, barring some kids from watching some really great movies that their parents recommend, just because of an over emotionalized, over glamorized common sense media review. So, what do I want parents to take away from this video? Do not rely on common sense media to gauge what is appropriate for your child. Definitely, do not look at the parent reviews or the kid reviews, but these are really just inaccurate and. Kind of trolling in some cases. 
Instead, I would actually sit down and watch the movie first by myself and judge the movie by what I see, not what I'm told. As these can, you know, over glamorized, over, over intensify the subject matter. That's it on my thoughts on、um, common sense media. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.